Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and in today's video we're going to look at how to take polygon topology from Blender and convert it to NURBS, topology and plasticity. So stick around if you want to find out more about that. Now if you've been using plasticity for a while now you're probably fully aware of the Blender Bridge which is a handy plugin that comes with your plasticity license that allows you to bring plasticity NURBS topology into Blender as polygon topology and once you've got it in there you can you know refacet it to angons and everything so that's all fine and dandy but what if you wanted to do it the other way around okay so that's what i'm going to show you today so there are multiple ways to do this uh the quickest way and the best way that i found is uh with this plugin for Blender that allows you to export polygons as an IGES file. So it is a $10 um, plugin. Um, so I think it's worth it. And the other thing to note is that Plasticity only allows IGES import on the studio version. Like I said, there's other ways to do this uh, in the indie version and whatnot, but they are a little bit convoluted and this is the best way to do it. And just quickly guys, I am a Plasticity affiliate and if you haven't bought Plasticity and you're in the market for it, you can get a 10% discount by using the code REFUGE10 when you're checking out on the Plasticity website and that applies to both the studio and the indie license. So whichever tier you're going for, um, you can get the discount. And also check out my other links for the plugins that I've made for Blender. Um, both of which have been made with plasticity in mind. One is a matcap generator and the other one is a plugin called Engon Pro which is for managing and optimizing your exports from plasticity in Blender to get them ready for texturing, software and game engines. Okay, let's crack into it. Let's see how we're going to do this. Let's start a new file in Blender. Okay, um, and I've got my reference model here, which is just the one that comes with the Blender assets for the uh, asset library. And I'm just going to bring this back to the uh, the cursor. Okay, we're going to see if there's any modifiers on here and just get rid of them. Now we've got this model in Blender. What we want to do is we want to decide, like, do we want armor on this or whatever. So I think just for the purpose of this, we'll do a helmet. So I'm going to go into edit mode. Okay, and I'm going to select these four polygons here. And I'm just going to press control and plus until we've got maybe that. I'm going to shift D to duplicate it and press escape to bring it back to where it was. And I'm going to press P and separate by selection. We'll press tab to go back into object mode. Okay, and we've got this uh, here now. We're going to go to add modifier, uh, search for the solidify modifier. Okay, and we're just going to pull this thickness out on the negative. We're also going to add another for modifier, which is smooth by angle. Okay, and we've got that uh, topology there. I'm going to quickly go into edit mode, Alt Z for X-ray, and I'm going to press Control V, and I'm, which is for the vertex uh, edit menu, and I'm going to go smooth vertices because I just don't want this to be too um, crazy. Okay. We're, Go back out of X-ray mode, Alt-Z, and I think this helmet, I don't know, it's like an 80s bike helmet, kind of, so or a motorbike helmet, that kind of thing. But let's just apply these modifiers, okay? And, you know, I would assume that you would have already uh, installed your export IGES, so in our export menu, we can come down and export IGES over here, okay? Now, what I would say is on this here, we'll do selected only, Bring the refinement down to level one, okay? Um, these settings should be fine, and we're gonna export this with the S, okay? Um, I'm also just gonna export this mesh as an OBJ of the character, okay? And we just wanna change, I believe, uh, this to Z, uh, the up access to Z, and we'll, that should be fine. Uh, selected only, and that's all good. So what we'll do, we'll come into plasticity. I'm going to start a new file. Okay. Yes. And what I'll just recommend, we'll just bring this uh, settings out like 
something like that. Now what I would recommend in the settings, in the preferences, um, these files can be quite heavy, so go into performance, um, GPU rendering on normal and CPU faceting quality on normal. Um, I'm running a 5900X and a 2070 Super. Um, if you've got a super high uh, CPU, then that will be fine. But um, I find ultra quality and even extra detail does uh, tend to slug this down a little bit. So now we're going to import or append our file and we're just going to open this. And you'll see a dialog down here. I am not absolutely sure what these things do, but um, I press so and heal um, because I have had problems where these have been all individual um, unjoined faces, and this tends to fix that. Okay, so we're going to go okay, and then we'll just import our OBJ as well. Okay, and when you import your OBJ, you might find that it's um, really uh, small. So you might want to change its scale up to meters rather than whatever it was at centimeters. Okay, so we've got that. I got the angle slightly wrong, but all we need to do is rotate Z90 and we've got that in place. Okay, so now we've got this helmet and we can just start selecting faces, right? In setting and just like you would on any other NURB surface so you can make you can go and make um, whatever you like really um, sometimes you might want to actually you know um, go and patch something in with a patch okay and then you can inset it and you might get a little bit better results so um, it can be a little bit fiddly and I have run into some bugs with this uh, file format but it's just a really handy way to get poly meshes, right? So we we got her direct head shape and um, we got a poly mesh directly into plasticity and you can do all sorts here, right? So you might want to um, also do a little bit of cleanup. Um, so these, these funny um, poles can have some funny results, okay? But you can either um, X nerves that on like that and you could just, I don't know, you can pull that up and Bob's your uncle. Anyway, so that is how you get a poly model. So that is how you get a poly model into plasticity as a NURBS model. Thanks a lot for watching guys and see you in the next one. Tschüss.